So router 3 can send traffic to router 2. Let's check whether router 1 receives that traffic. And I'm going to do that by running a Wireshark capture on router 1's fast ethernet port. So we're going to see what traffic arrives at this port. So Wireshark is running. And on router 3, I'm going to ping router 2, not router 1. And notice there's the ping. I pinged from router 3 to router 2, but the traffic was received by router 1 because this is a hub. And we can see the ICMP message from router 3 to router 2 and router 2 back to router 3. We could also do the following. Let's capture passwords. So enable password Cisco on router 2, line VTY 0 to 4, login, password Cisco. So I've enabled the VTY lines on router 2. Let's see if we can capture a login information on router 1 when router 3 telnets to router 2. So on router 3, Telnet 10112, this is router 2. Login with a password of Cisco. In Wireshark, we are seeing Telnet data. So scrolling down, we can see some negotiations taking place. And notice user access verification password. So router 2 is prompting for a password as shown over here. Router 3. TCP information there. Here's some Telnet data. Do echo. Scrolling down. Notice here, Telnet data from router three to router two. Data is C. I. S. C. O. In other words, Cisco. We've just captured the password from router 3 to router 2. In Wireshark, we could change that to only look at port 23 as an example. So that will allow us to reduce the amount of traffic that we're seeing so that we, as an example, can see the password here, C I S C O. So we've just captured the password that was sent from router 3 to router 2 on router 1 because this is a hub.